So let's talk about how to navigate a large spreadsheet. Um, this spreadsheet is, I would say, medium to large. Uh, you know, it's got you know, 100 or so columns here, um, but they can get much bigger than this. Um, a useful way of doing that is to use hyperlinks within the spreadsheet so that you can click it and it takes you right to the part of the spreadsheet you want to go to. Um, and so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that up um, using the names function within Excel. Um, I'm also going to add a column in here where I can put those hyperlinks so it's easy to get to because I have it so that the first couple columns here are frozen and I can always see them. I'm going to add a column before that um, which will be our, our hyperlinks um, column here. And it also will stay frozen, so we'll always be able to see them. All right, so let's go throughout the spreadsheet. What I like to do is put a column where there is just a header, and then I color that column some uh, unique color. Uh, so if I am scrolling, it's easy for me to know that I'm going from one data set to another, um, or sort of one measurement to another, or one form to another. Um, so this first one is the flow mediated dilation data set uh, for these subjects. Um, so I'm gonna click where it says FMD data, and I'm going to call this a give this a name in Excel. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to click define name. All right, so when I do this, I'm just going to keep all the defaults here so it brings in the text from that cell and makes that the name in the spreadsheet. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to also copy that and I'm gonna paste it over here. And so that didn't take the name with it, but what it did do is take the text where it says FMD data and it took the color of that column over here. So I got a sort of a color coded system now started. Um, let's scroll across to our next set of data. Again, I've already taken the time to add um, the colored bars with the um, sort of name of the data set. So this one is the front of the forearm, the near infrared spectroscopy data set. Um, I will also click here, right click it, and go to define name and keep all the defaults and make that another name. I'm gonna copy that, paste it below this other hyperlink over here. Um, and let's just keep doing this. So I'm gonna do that for all of the sets of data in here. Right now, these are not hyperlinks, so when I click on them, nothing happens. So uh, let's scroll back to the beginning. All right, so I scrolled all the way to the left there. And let's go through each one of these, creating them into hyperlinks now. So I'm gonna go with the first one, and just give a little more space so we can see a little more of this. I'm gonna click the FMD data, uh, which I'm gonna make link to this one right here. And so I'm gonna right click this, and I'm gonna to go to, let's see, link. And what I want is I want a place within this document. So right here, place in this document. Um, and we have our list of defined names. So I'm gonna click the one I want. So I'm doing the FMD data. So I want the FMD data name and I'll click okay. After, so I highlighted it and then I clicked okay. And so now if I click this, it, brings my my highlighting over here. Um, so right now it didn't look like much because I already had that visible. But if I scroll across here so it's not visible and I click on that again, it's gonna bring me right to FMD data, that da part of the data set. So let's do that quickly for all of these. Um, so front of forearm, so let's make this front of forearm. The characteristics data sets link that to the same name, and then the log transform data. Again, link that to the same name. All right, so now each one of these has been set up so that it links to the spreadsheet um, wherever that data starts. So again, if I click FMD data, it's gonna bring me here. If I click front of forearm, it's gonna bring me to the front of the forearm. Now it's only gonna bring it to the far edge of your screen, so you do have to scroll a little bit, but it brings you to that first cell there within that data set. And I can do that for 
any of these. I can do that for characteristics. I can do that for the log transform data. And I can also do it backwards, right? So I'm at the end of the spreadsheet. I'm, I can go right back to, say, the front of the forum. And boom, it brings me right there. I can go with FMD, so on and so forth. So doing this is really useful, especially if you have, you know, uh, medical history and a bunch of other things embedded into um, this one master spreadsheet so that you can navigate around the spreadsheet really, really quickly and efficiently.